Welcome back to 100.7 The Score. I'm Randy Rosetta. This is the Patriot Fan Zone. As you can see, we're a little bit doing things a little bit differently. We're talking volleyball instead of football. Not because Joe Sexton didn't want to be here. He he told me that it was time to pass the torch to the, the coach who's kind of <laughs> made it hard for all the other coaches at Liberty. I tease you about that, but every time I talk to one of them, they're like, what's Caitlin doing winning all these games so quick? Which I guess you, can, you can't apologize for that. No, so. no not ever going to apologize for that. <laughs> Caitlin Anderson, second year Liberty volleyball coach, Abby Dallas, ju- like old junior. It's, it's weird to call you old, but since I've known you since you were – 13 or 14 as a freshman basketball player two very important pieces of the liberty program which is on a very hot streak right now is it four in a row four in a row and it's not just four in a row it's the who it's randall herford friendship and monterey Mm -hmm. what has gotten into your girls because you guys have you built this schedule to be more challenging and they got through the challenging part and now they're just they're killing it right now yeah they're they're doing a great job we um we've been pushing pretty hard in practice and just kind of knowing that uh our preseason is 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 our uh just our big fight uh we when we uh, got our district you know we it's not that we were upset but we wanted to kind of go north honestly we wanted to be pushed a little bit so when i um we we booked up our preseason pretty tough and i think when everybody saw our schedule they're like caitlin what are you doing um but these girls have handled it i mean every single game has been a fight they've uh, we got to learn you know pretty quick last year that um these girls had to learn to be varsity athletes on their own and uh i think you know we hit maybe I would say in our Glen Rose tournament, we hit that. I didn't have to say that to these girls anymore. They, they, they know how to be varsity athletes. They know how to push. They know how that every single team that we're going to play there, they have to give everything they have. It's not no team, no varsity team is going to hand you a game. Um, And I'm not saying that the JV level that they do that as well, but uh, you can choke a little bit. Uh, These varsity teams don't do that. And um, these girls have just learned to, uh, handle pressure a little bit better and we struggled with it at the beginning um but we've talked about that a lot a lot we've talked about you know we have to practice deeper um and so they they're just they're doing a great job it's been fun to watch you guys from the start and just continue to grow and and abby something coach said there last year when you guys were freshmen and sophomores teams wanted to beat you because you were freshmen and sophomores they were older girls and they were like we can't let freshmen and sophomores beat you which you guys still won a lot of matches this year now you've kind of inherited that stigma that especially in in lubbock that lubbock cooper and friendship have that they want to beat you because you're liberty Mm -hmm. how as you guys have kind of matured and gotten as coach said gotten tougher minded how have you kind of grown into that i guess um, something we talk about is trying to make a name for ourselves because we're not as known as like Cooper or friendship. So You're getting there though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Exa- um, so it's really cool to go into games and like just give it our all and not let our age because we're still only to juniors. So not let that be an excuse. And yeah. Yeah, I promised you guys I wouldn't. I would stop bringing that up. I, you're like you said. You're an old junior now. You're mm-hmm. you've. For the, when we met before you ever started your sophomore year i remember coach saying you had to go from being a carefree freshman on that state runner-up basketball team where you got to just wear a uniform and <laughs> jump up and cheer to all of a sudden you had to be one of the leaders she's not your only leader you guys have a lot of girls who have really embraced that part of being a varsity player kind of talk about abby and some of those other girls yeah, we have – we're really blessed because each each junior, even sophomores that have that were on varsity last year, um, they all have a, a different way of leading. Um, and it's really – I always talk about, like, we need to be um, a puzzle. And sometimes we're missing some puzzle pieces. And uh, we have been for a little bit, but I think our puzzle is getting close to being really um, – like complete I guess uh Abby is a um a girl that I I told her today that we always need Abby Dallas on on the team she she holds 
uh, the team accountable. She holds herself accountable. You never find a practice where she's not holding herself accountable. Um, sometimes she's a little bit too hard on herself. Uh, she holds me accountable. I, I get, you know, that's just me in the in the gym. I don't have an assistant in there. So I'm, you know, entering balls and then running the drill, trying to do this, the whiteboard on our stats. And, you know, we're trying to keep up with everything. And I lose track of what's going on. And every single time Abby knows what's going on. Um, and, you know, we love to have that. Um, so, yeah, she, she leads. She's Her IQ is, you know, for the game is just, awesome just like it is probably in 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 the basketball world um but we you know we have uh, camel beeler she's another outside or you know she's kind of been playing some outside and some oppo um and some defense right now um and you know she's she's a player that uh just has a lot of hunger um she will do anything in her power for that ball not to hit the floor um and a lot of you know when we play teams like that that's that's what they say about her um, she was the district MVP last year. She was the district MVP last was. year, yeah. Um, and then we, you know, we Maddie Hyder, both both of my middles. Um, they they are doing a phenomenal job. Their their eye work. They they lead the team with just getting touches on you know the swings that are we're, that we have that's happening. I mean, we're playing friendship, and you know we have. Um, Hadley. Hadley Welch. Oh, my goodness. She's got some power. And so we, we just going in with them. I was like, we have to get touches. No matter – it doesn't have to be a block. It just has to be a touch. And our middles did everything in their power to do that. And they they help us out tremendously. They they One of them's one of our captains. And then Maddie might as well be because she's leads and holds the team accountable. Just, you know, she does an awesome job. And, I, I mean, I can – I can. We've I got can half go an on. hour. So yeah. Okay. We'll, perfect. Um, we're coming up on a break, so we'll we'll talk about it in a minute. But Abby, something that Ava Hounshell, writer for my website, mentioned in her story is that coach talked about how she's challenged you guys a little bit more in practice. You've gotten to run a little bit more, which I know you have to be in great shape to play volleyball. But the <laughs> running part is that. How's that gone over? Has that? Um, it's not always our favorite, but it does, it's there to push us. So like when we're competing in drills, like nobody wants to run. So we're going to push each other and try to win. Um, but the more like we do it, the more we get used to it. So she's had to drop the time down a little bit. So it makes it harder, but it's been going good. I told Taylor Reed, the coach that was in here from Lubbock Cooper a minute ago, I asked if he knew you. And I think we just got cut off. Oh, no, we're back. I told Taylor that Caitlin is a football coach and a volleyball coach's body because watching her the way and just the way you describe that, that's I that's like old school stuff. That's what I had to do as a football player way back long time ago. I'm trying to see if we're coming up on a break or if we're still I'll just keep talking until they tell us to stop talking. <laughs> so I, we've talked about the, the hot streak recently. Coming up on another pretty good opponent next week, you get a little bit of a chance to get ready. <laughs> or we're, now we're going to take a break and we'll come back and talk more Liberty Volleyball and the Patriot Fan Zone on 100.7 The Score. <laughs> Welcome back to the Patriot Fan Zone on 100.7 The Score. I'm Randy Rosetta. I'm with Liberty Volleyball coach Caitlin Anderson and junior Abby Dallas. And I hope people can still hear us. We're just going to keep talking anyway. I've gotten to know Caitlin. We can talk just almost as much as Joe Sexton and I can talk. Oh, good. Have you watched it when Joe's been on here with me? Uh, every now and then. So, yeah. like, Joe and I are these two old guys who will just start talking about, like, everything but football. And we're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Click back, back and talk. And Joe's like that anyway. I mean, yeah. Joe's like talking to you. That's yeah. going to sound wrong if I say he's like talking to your grandpa. Uh, Chip Darden will feast on that if I say so. No, <laughs> Joe's only a little bit older than me. Yeah. So and he's a good dude. Uh, he's, and he hired really good coaches. He did. He's, and you're one of them. Mm-hmm. And not to make you blush or anything. <laughs> Just a, a little bit of background, Caitlin. You played at Lubbock Cooper for who was your coach? Uh, Courtney Pesterfield. That's what I thought. Yeah. Who's still around? Yes. Yeah, and she's whose principal daughter is a pretty good two sport player. Yes. Uh, volleyball and softball, which is that seems like a unique mix. Yeah, yeah, she's. Uh, I've I've known Lydia since she was born. Yeah, uh, I got to actually coach Lydia last year or two 
years two ago. years ago yeah uh which that was really cool but it also fit, made me feel really old i didn't like it oh and you're not old uh-huh. i think if it was either you or morgan glassby told me about feeling old and yeah. you don't get to say that you oh. can say it to joe but okay. not to me okay um the, you hit on something there though and we were talking in between what's cool to me about volleyball coaches in lubbock right now is you all are somewhat connected somehow yeah um when the godfather came back mike moffett came back <laughs> yeah. but you you played for candy stevens um no i coached her you daughter coached her daughter uh-huh. okay i knew it was some sort of connection so yeah. what's cool is you guys have to, when you're coaching against somebody who you know and knows you do you have to kind of think differently because you know they're gonna be ready for different things you like to do oh yeah um like i said mike moffett is he's I, he's kind of like a second dad to me honestly he's been there for me for a really long time um he taught me a lot um as, as a setter when i played and you know i take a lot what he coached me and i you know coach my setters the same way uh so we we smile and anytime our setters dump on each other um we both gave each other a good little good little look and uh yeah he's um he's an awesome coach and i've learned a lot from him he's mentored me through becoming a head coach and uh when he got the cooper job it was uh, a full circle honestly you know he went uh came from emerald high and carly now is at randall and you know i'm at liberty and so we're just it's just one big honestly a lot of these coaches in the lubbock shallow water area is um We've all coached the same at the same club together, and so um, we're each other's biggest fans, honestly. I like what Mike said is he wants his team to win all the time, but he wants everybody else's team to win as long as they're not playing him. Yeah. So. Yeah. And Abby, you kind of have a, a perspective on that too, because you've played for really good coaches. You, for some, I keep calling you an old junior, but you're still really <laughs> young. You've played for Kyle Lovern. You've played for. Was Dana? Did you? dabble in varsity volleyball or no no okay but you know you know coach dana yes you've got coach caitlin now you've got coach morgan so you you ever sit back as somebody as young as you are and realize i'm getting really good coaching mm-hmm. in two different sports mm-hmm. yep um it's cool because they've all been like through what we're going through and so like they have a different perspective on it but they also know how to coach us from our perspective and win you're pretty low-key even keeled young lady you're not coached by even keeled um <laughs> coaches and i'm saying that to be nice i've told i know i've told morgan this if had had when i was younger i would have loved to play for somebody like morgan because there's no mystery about what she expects from you and i think mm-hmm. caitlin's the same way how much does that push you and kind of motivate you um a lot actually um I would say both Coach Anderson and Coach Glassby are really competitive like me, and it's just like they have a high standard, which I like and as a coach or having a coach with a high standard, and it's just like good for competing because we want to win. Caitlin, I don't know if I've ever asked you this, but there's always a difference going from being a sub-varsity coach to varsity because you sort of have to be the good cop a lot um and you the f- folks you coached with i think you probably were the good cop for a couple of years to we don't that's not really an option when you get to be the head coach you have to be mom dad disciplinarian psychologist all of that in your second year how much have you kind of grown into that do you feel like yeah uh i struggled with it uh, i'm not gonna lie for a little bit um you know I, like you said, it's the JV coach in you, you know, knowing that the varsity coach does have to be, you know, not necessarily the bad cop, but they make the big decisions. Yep. And um, at the end of the day, it's, you know, everybody wants to go win. It's not all about winning. And I'm very competitive. And I will say that it is not all about winning. Um, but, you know, that's usually what makes not only the players, but the coach and the parents happy. Um, and, you know, they, one thing Coach K told me a while back is, you know, you're you're not you're not always going to be the the good person. Right. Um, and I was like, oh no no, not me, not me. Uh, and I I learned it. Uh, it was it was tough, and I didn't like that even one thing was said bad about me. But I learned that um, 
you know, like you can't please everybody. No. Um, and We're going to talk about something that happened last year that's still one of my favorite moments when we come back on the Patriot Fan Zone on 100.7 FM. Welcome back to the final segment of the Patriot Fan Zone, final segment of the high school fan zone of the week. Before we jump back in and talk volleyball, I'm going to run through the football broadcast schedule to make sure we get that out for folks that know. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, Monterey heads down to Odessa, takes on Odessa High on 93.7 The Eagle, 6.30 pregame show, 7 p.m. kickoff. Friday night, busy night, Coronado is at home against Abilene Cooper at 4 p.m. at Lowry Field on 96.9 The Bull, pregame at 3.45, kickoff at 4 Friendship and Lubbock Cooper in the game of the week, sometimes tends to be the game of the year. That is on two stations, right here on 100.7 The Score and then on 97.3 Double T, 97.3 630 pregame show on both. Liberty Patriots still looking for that first win. You guys need to get them some good mojo. Okay. They go to Seminole, which is not going to be easy. I think Seminole's ranked number five in the state in 4A Division Two. That's on 93.1 Yes FM at uh, pregame at 6.30, kickoff at 7. And then Idaloo takes on Odessa Compass Academy, 6.30 p.m. pregame, 7 p.m. kickoff on Sunday, 97.7 FM. It's a lot of football on Friday nights. That's you. I like the fact that you guys, you may not like it. I saw you, your first, the very first football game, you were on the sideline. Yes. So, but, and you're, again, you're young, so you're not that far from removed from enjoying Friday nights, but <laughs> you're when you get into district, which is next week, no, week after mm-hmm. next, Tuesday and Saturday, so you guys steer clear of that Friday night spotlight a little bit, and you get folks coming out to your games. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Liberty's a, we're one big happy family. Um, and we like <laughs> to, we want to stay that way. Um, you know, we, the football coaches come and support us. We, all the coaches go and support him. We are at basketball games. We, we, we've told each other that we want our culture to stay true. And so uh, we, we all love to support each other, win or lose. We're each other's biggest fans. So it's, and it's going to be fun to watch at Friendship as well when their new school opens, just how quickly you guys become that little country school to now you're a little bit bigger. And then probably in a few years, Abby, you'll be in college. You won't have to worry about this. <laughs> yeah. Probably will be a 5A. Just keep getting, keep growing. That's kind of the way of the world. So I I mentioned before we went to break, and not, now I feel bad that I mentioned it because I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but Caitlin... I became a big fan of Caitlin, the coach and the person, probably the third or fourth time I ever watched them play. And some things got a little bit ruly, unruly in the stands, and she fixed it. And you gained my respect. I'm pretty sure I've told you that a few times. That kind of goes back to coach's fire. She's going to fight for her. She's like a mama bear with with her cubs. She's going to fight for you guys no matter what, whether it's – Whoever it is, you guys realize that right away, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. How cool is that to play for a coach that's that passionate about you, not just to coach you? Um, it's really good in games to know that she has our back so that like when calls aren't going our way and stuff like that, like we're going to fight for each point and win each point. <laughs> so one thing I've learned about volleyball is there's always one player that you send over to talk is there one person every match or do you is that something you kind of split up uh it's um i don't do a great job of that i end up yelling over them anyway <laughs> I, i'm trying to do better but uh it's usually our captains uh actually it's not usually it is our captain so it's the three people that come up and talk and do the flip the coin and stuff um that's just something that volleyball does is we are not allowed to yell at the ref. We have to get our kids to go. So sometimes I tell Abby to go say some things, and she probably does a great job of not wording yes, it the I way that I did. Yes, she's got the perfect personality to do it. She does. She does. So, yeah. Well, we're winding down here, but I want to mention you guys. I think I don't know if we mentioned it or not. Next up is Bushland, which you guys played last year at least once, right? Um, yeah, twice. twice, they, twice. I mentioned this in 
Ava's story. They ended your season, and yeah. I, they went on to win state in 3A. So yes. that's the next big challenge. You guys are playing really well. That gets you before you go into district. And we'll next time we have you on, we'll talk because you'll be in the district by then. We'll talk a little bit more. But this, uh, if you've not, if you're a volleyball fan, or if you're not a volleyball fan, go out and watch the Liberty Lady Patriots because it took me a while to understand volleyball when I got here, but now I know what I'm watching. I think, sort sort of. And they're very fun to watch. Still young, except for old junior Abby Dallas. This is Randy Rosetta with 100.7 FM. That's been the Patriot Fan Zone.